This caterpillar right here is extremely venomous. One wrong touch and you're gonna get a really, really painful sting. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just see if I can try my hand at free handling it. Don't sting. Please don't sting. <sighs> you probably knew spiders and snakes would be venomous. Definitely do not try this at home. But I'm willing to bet that caterpillars are one of the last things you'd expect to be able to deliver a venomous sting. But when you're a slow moving, fat and juicy little creature that many things would like to make a meal out of, you need some cunning defense mechanisms if you want to survive in the wild. I'm Spencer Hoffman, and today I'm taking on the Buck Moth Challenge and going to attempt to freehandle one of North America's most painful stinging creatures to see just how dangerous these little insect larvae actually are. So I'm heading into some deep scrub habitat in South Florida where these caterpillars are known to hang out. Now take a look at this guy. It's been a while since I've worked with caterpillars here. And this is one of my favorite groups of caterpillars, the Saturnids. These are the larvae of some of the giant North American silk moths. And this one is a pretty gnarly one. This caterpillar right here, the reason I'm handling them on the stick right now, is they are extremely venomous. One wrong touch and you're gonna get a really, really painful sting. We've actually seen quite a few of them today, probably in the dozens or even hundreds. And that's because this is the time of year they're emerging in full. Now, sometimes the moths will actually swarm around in clouds, which is unusual for Saturnids. They're usually nocturnal flyers, but this group, this guy belongs to, actually fly during the day, almost like butterflies. It gets even weirder from there. See, I said this caterpillar is venomous. Now. You're probably thinking, Spencer, what do you mean the caterpillar is venomous? It doesn't have fangs, it doesn't have a stinger. Actually, it does have stingers. All down its back, those hairs are barbed, venomous stingers. And the way they sting you is really, really gnarly. For this guy, each of those barbs is branched. So it can shoot venom in multiple directions, creating a larger area of pain and irritation. Now, this is not a medically significant caterpillar. It's not gonna kill you unless you have like a severe allergic reaction or something, but it's gonna make you wish you were dead for a few minutes. And that defense mechanism allows them to survive in bulk out here. They're doing really well and there's not a whole lot of things that can eat them. Primarily parasitic wasps, things that are gonna be a little bit smaller and a little bit harder body that can kind of dodge between those stingers there will be able to parasitize them and apparently some birds are actually able to get around the venomous stingers by slapping them really hard it's possible once the caterpillar is dead that they can't actually inject venom but i don't know that for sure and look at the appearance of this thing absolutely alien looking but a little bit frightening all those horns and branches like almost like he has spiny brambles or something growing off of him they are a very, very strange looking insect. And you know me, I love strange looking insects. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just see if I can try my hand at free handling it. You're thinking, Spencer, what, a, what is wrong with you? You just said it was a venomous caterpillar. Why the heck would you wanna free handle it? But look right there. See, the outside is really heavily defended, but the underside is not. So those spines act as sort of like a shield over the top of this body. These caterpillars are very soft body. There's a lot of things that would love to be able to eat this out here. They're very nutritious. They're eating a ton of plants and they're saving up that energy for when they finally mature. But as you can see right here, they do have some weak points and I'm taking advantage of that to be able to free handle it for you. Absolutely incredible. And caterpillars, the way they move is just so bizarre. That locomotion, that like wriggling weird thing, it creeps a lot of people out, you know. Some people who aren't super fond of insects, they do like butterflies, but the larvae creep them out. And you know, I can kind of see why. They're very, very alien looking. They even have all those little pseudopods along the back of their abdomen there. Those front six are real legs. These parts back here are actually just muscly parts of the abdomen with some suction cups on the end. And they're incredibly sticky. As he's walking over my hand, you can just feel the little suction cups like <sniffs> sucking on my skin. It's so bizarre. Look at him go. Crazy little venomous buck moth caterpillar. 
Venomous caterpillars like these are a great deterrent for predators because both their colors and spiky appearance advertise it. This can make things a bit confusing though because there definitely are spiky looking caterpillars that actually can't sting. If you're a predator in the wild, it's definitely not a chance you're willing to take, meaning menacing appearances are all these chunky little larvae need to survive. And one of the strangest of these weird looking caterpillars I've seen was the larva of another giant silk moth that can be found in pine trees in the fall, the pine devil. If you want to see that monstrous looking creature, check out this video right here. Hope to see you there, but until next time, don't forget to get outside and find your own adventure.